Religious leaders in Cross River State have called on Nigerians to support President Bola Tidobo in his quest to tackle the economic situation in the country. They made this known at the fourth edition of the Solemn Assembly held in Calabar. Tina Akwaike has details and we'll return with business news. It's yet another day to hand over the affairs of the state and the country to the Almighty. <laughs> Governor of Crossover State, Basio II, who was represented by his deputy, Peter Ode, reaffirmed his commitment to revive Maribond facilities in the state to boost economic growth. I started to announce to you that Tinaba, that looked like a forgotten district, will come back to life. The Kutu Kato branch, as we speak, is undergoing massive renovation. Some religious leaders in Cross River State used the event to call on Nigerians to unite behind President Bola Tinubu, putting aside sentiment and individual differences to tackle the country's economic challenge as one nation. We agree that uh, things are really very rosy this time, and we should also understand that, that uh, it's not the fault of Mr. President. I mean, all over the world, globally, things are very, very, you know, very, very, there's hardship everywhere. And uh, Mr. President, uh, is trying his very possible best. I have been privileged when I was in Lagos to meet him face to face in uh, Igui, and I know he's a very kind person. We must be able to set aside some specific differences, individual differences, sentimental differences, tribal differences. When we look ourselves as Nigerians and not looking at ourselves as tribal nations, some prominent indigenous of the state in attendance highlight the need for prayer and a quick return to agriculture for economic growth. I'm glad that God has shown us a sign that we have come to the season of greater glory. The solemn assembly with the theme greater glory had in attendance the senator representing Cross River Central Senatorial District, Ethan Jones Williams, among other dignitaries. The event featured prayers, songs, ministration, and world exaltation. The solemn assembly marked a significant moment in the state's path as leaders pledged to tackle present challenges and drive progress. Now with hope and resilience, Cross River State moved forward, determined to write a new chapter in his economic story. Tina Akweke, TVC News, Calabar.